Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanth Sare. So in this lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, uh, the how to uh, define a nested structure. Okay. So the nested structure, uh, uh, in a simple way, it means that uh, if you define a structure variable uh, inside another structure, uh, in a, inside another structure definition, so that uh, uh, gives you the concept of nested structures. Okay. So let us look in, uh, look about it in a detailed example here. So first let me launch the IDE. So we know that we are using a, a Visual Studio uh, Express for 2005, a very old uh, edition. So here I am uh, creating a new project here. So let me say that uh, the name of the project is nested structure. Okay. So nested structure. So let me take a new uh, source file. Uh, so let me say it as again nested structure dot C. So nested uh, structure dot C. Okay. So uh, let me go to full screen and I'll add all the so basic stuff. Before that, let me add a comment here. So let's say nested structure example. Okay. So let me add uh, so all the basic stuff like hello files as include stu.h. So hash include colon Okay. So let us take uh, structures here. So here our uh, so we need to take uh, uh, two different uh, structures here. So first, uh, so let us assume that uh, there is uh, uh, two structures. Uh, uh, it can occur in any case here. Okay. So in our case, we are uh, uh, let's assume that we are uh, defining a structure for employee. Uh, in that, uh, it needs uh, uh, like date of birth uh, of an employee here. Okay. So let's say uh, struct struct. Uh, Card struct dop okay so struct dop is the name of the structure so first we are going to create here so in that uh, typically uh, a date of birth consists of three different uh, data members the first one is going to be the day is born and the second one the month is born the third one the year is born here okay so there are three different entities uh, in our data members in a uh, data birth structure here. Okay, so you don't need uh, type def for now. We are skipping the uh, type def here. Okay, uh, and also um, let's take now. now let's take uh, the employee structure struct employee. Okay, struct employee. So typically an employee consists of uh, int emp number. So all the basic stuff uh, were being uh, added here. So care e name. Of some let's say some 50 okay so care in a of 50 now uh, let's say uh, uh, also a float uh, salary float cell and apart from that uh, now we are uh, creating the uh, object uh, or uh, variable for this structure inside uh, this uh, for this uh, structure inside our employee structure okay so data birth um, so every employee also uh, needs a data birth so for that reason, uh, we are uh, uh, defining uh, a variable for that stru structure uh, in, inside our employee class here. Okay. So to do that, uh, let's say struct tob. Okay. Uh, let's say um, so. What you can say the name of this variable as uh, um, um, let's say date here. Okay. <laughs> or else <laughs> let's do one thing uh, let's change the name of the structure to be more meaningful let's say date and let's convert that uh, date to object as data birth here okay so struct date and do up here okay so again uh, at last let's have an employee uh, one uh, as our uh, employee one as our variable of this of this structure here okay so first definition uh, let's have a comment here so definish defining uh, defining a structure um, for uh, holding data about uh, date of birth, date of birth, so uh, of, uh, of all employees. Okay, so here we are uh, uh, modularizing our uh, structure concept. Okay, so for each and every uh, for each and everything. So also in future, so you might uh, have another structure uh, for uh, date of joining, so for date of birth. 
for rid of joining so in, in that uh, scenario so you can modulize your structures depending upon the the program you are designing uh, and your goal and specific needs and so on and so forth okay so let's try another comment here so defining a structure uh, per employee holding all the basic data members here okay so defining the structure uh, for employee ho holding all the okay so uh, uh, declaring a variable uh, declaring I'm running another comment here inside a structure <laughs> declaring a variable uh, declaring a variable for date class inside uh, employee class okay so this brings you the nested structure concept here okay so here we have a nested uh, one structure so within uh, uh, other structure here okay so now let me uh, take our wide main so to find now what i'm going to do is uh, i have taken the wide main uh, so let's write uh, the first stretch that gets h to make the output uh, constant okay so now what i'm doing is uh, let me define a variable for our employee class here okay so uh, first let me define a variable uh, also so already i have defined a variable for employee class which is uh, e1 okay so variable for employee class so let me write that comment also structure variable uh, for uh, employee class okay so already have taken a, a variable also uh, for our employee class uh, now what i'm going to do is so in order to access uh, uh, so employee uh, data so directly you can say something like this emp1 uh, that's that's the name of our variable emp1 dot uh, um, emp number so you can say it directly as one and also in the same way uh, emp1 dot uh, uh, name so you can assign uh, uh, some name or you can use your uh, contemporary uh, str uh, cpy uh, syntax and you can say emp1 dot uh, ename uh, comma so let me write my name here and the sorry okay uh, okay so before that let me add this uh, header file for our uh, string storage so i should include uh, <coughs> Excuse me. String audit since we are using a, a string audit there. Okay. So now, uh, so I have just uh, uh, taken the strcpy to assign that thing uh, uh, to emp name to our uh, emp uh, employee structure. So emp one dot uh, so salary. So let's say some uh, twenty thousand bucks. Uh, very lowest salary in the world. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, so now, uh, now we have our uh, uh, aim is to access this structure, uh, date structure, and fill that uh, particular information for employee one using uh, our EMP variable as well as the variable of that uh, date of birth, date structure. Here. Okay. So to do that, uh, we need to follow this specific syntax here. Okay. Let's write a comment here. Accessing, uh, so accessing the elements. So well commented code is very understandable uh, whenever the user looks into a program uh, which he has not written uh, so by, re by reading the comments you can have an understanding about how the code is working in internally uh, so accessing the elements of uh, nested structure so nested structure so goes like this okay so now first we, have, we need to take the name of the uh, variable of that first employee structure and then followed by the name of uh, variable of that uh, date structure which is the will be dot and then you have to assign the particular uh, members of that uh, date class here okay so date uh, structure here so date let me say one um, so month again let's say uh, so in order to access the month which is the variable of uh, state class again you need to follow the same syntax uh, emp1 uh, dot uh, dob dot month okay so month let's say some two and same way emp1 dot dob dot year so let's say some uh, 1990 whatever the year it might be so now i am uh, since i am very lazy enough here so what i can do is i want to just uh, 
in order when uh, in order uh, for me not to have any problem in uh, printing i am just uh, taking another three different variables uh, uh, emp1 broke the syntax since we have used okay so date so we are having a problem here okay so let's do one thing uh, let's take three different variables at the beginning one since this is the problem to tackle with uh, so since t m and y okay so just and um, uh, nothing complicated here i'm just i have just taken uh, three different variables and what i'm saying is uh, so in turn uh, i'm ax i'm storing those uh, uh, values in this uh, individual variables okay so everything went fine okay so what I, what i did is i have taken three different variables uh, for d m and y and i'm just storing those uh, whatever the values i'm assigning in that uh, date structure internally uh, in this variable so such that uh, i need not use the whole syntax when i am uh, printing using the printf statement here okay so d m and y okay so we are done with our accessing the uh, elements of that uh, nested structure which is date and we have declared defined that variable inside the employee structure and now what i am going to do is i am going to print the whole thing whatever the information we have fed into our uh, uh, structure and nest nested structure so far uh, using the printf statement here so printf uh, let me say uh, the name of the employee so name of the employee uh, is equal to percentage yes uh, let's say uh, emp one dot name okay so emp one dot name in the same way uh, you can have uh, uh, printf that is slash t the the name sorry the number or let's say employee number is equal to percentage d uh, comma emp1 dot number emp number here okay so also if you are lazy enough you can take uh, small small variables <laughs> to and each assign each and individual uh, structure assignment to that variable and you can use that variable when you are using the printer statement here okay so next followed by the salary uh, the employee salary is equal to percentage here uh, emp1 dot set okay so now uh, we need to print the date of uh, joining uh, so before uh, um, so now the date of joining it goes like this uh, printed slash n slash t the date of joining the date of joining sorry date of birth or we have uh, here our intention is uh, to print the date of birth okay so let's say a uh, date of joining or date of birth sorry so whatever it might be you can take it as uh, date of birth so since we have spelled as uh, date of birth so date of birth of the employee so percentage d hyphen so i am following this special syntax here percentage d hyphen percentage d hyphen uh, percentage t okay so here i am following this specific syntax because uh, uh, it's the first followed by date followed by month followed by year so yeah, typically you print the date uh, in that format uh, followed by date date followed by month in at least in indian system or else in foreign uh, other foreign countries like us and canada will have the month first followed by the date and then followed by the year so now let's uh, run our program if everything goes well we have the data here okay so let me uh, increase the font size a bit here consoles 36 okay so whatever the data we have uh, uh, taken using our uh, employee class uh, so and using the nested structure uh, date class uh, since we have defined that variable uh, variable to that date class in our uh, structure here and then we have uh, uh, using that uh, syntax using this special syntax uh, we have uh, assigned that uh, nested nested structure uh, data using the both the objects here okay so using using the object of uh, uh, employee class and as well as the object of uh, the date class uh, we have uh, assigned the uh, data and then we have retrieved them uh, and printed using the using the printf statement here okay 
So to summarize once again, uh, so what you have done so far, let me go to full screen. Uh, we have taken two different structures, one is for date uh, and one is for employee. So we have defined the variable of that, uh, this date structure uh, inside our uh, employee structure, the structure date uh, inside our uh, employee structure using the variable as DOB. And when coming to main, in order to access uh, this nested structure, we need to follow this specific syntax. The first variable of this structure followed by the variable of uh, uh, structure variable of date class and then followed by the member individual data members here. Okay? So this is the basic stuff about uh, nested structure examples in C. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.